this is alternately your Ford. If you wanted to pedal or wade through. And this leads you to the bridge and a confidence blaze. And here's yet another one of their charming benches. Each one is sort of unique. Now we seem to be hitting another pine zone with some actual fragrance. And a bit of old midden trash, rusty bed springs, auto body parts. Now we've got a transition, some actual wooded marshy stuff. There's a run of pine probably colonizing after a burn. Uh, this looks like an old cart pass. Farm access road. Crossing its array of swales. And here we are at another cozy bench coming off the edge of the marsh. Rounding the bend. Heading towards the Merrimack. We will see it today. And lo and behold, it's another charming little boardwalk. Starting to head upland again. Clearing over here. That's our way to the parking lot we came from on High Plains Road. Maybe back about a mile and a quarter or so. And this is our way forward. This pine took a hit. Most likely lightning. You can see how it opens up increasingly until it gets to the bottom where it's really wide. But the heartwood's holding in there. Some pretty big old pines. And here's a marsh overlook. I guess that's an axe, could be a beaver too. There really isn't that much good stuff for beavers here. And there we have the gleam on the birch.
Yeah, it's... And now we're going back a little upwind again. <laughs> And exiting another pine grove, the marsh gets larger. Sort of residential over there. Some pretty huge pines and an old kettle. Rusting away. Should be a skim of ice over all this stuff before too long. Standing dead snag. This is probably a beaver contrivance. A beaver disruption. Some interesting paw prints in there. Let's have a look at Kingfisher.